Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the engineers and what exactly they do. Uh, on a basic note that they do is allow you to modify your equipment and to improve it. Uh, we do have a number of engineers, we don't just have the one. Uh, as you can see here we've got a list of engineers. Uh, in the actual proper release you're going to have to find them yourself and uh, complete missions to actually be able to access them and then once you've done that you're going to have to earn their trust by providing certain materials uh, in this beta we kind of didn't have to do that we've just given straight access to them so as you can see we've got quite a few here uh, I'll just go quickly through them so you can pause it if you want to actually read them So like I said that's the engineers that's been added. Uh, we actually are at one so I can actually show you a bit more detail. So this is going to be a new tab once you've actually landed on the place. Uh, you've got the engineers workshop. If we go in here uh, we can see a bit more about the engineer. Uh, obviously we're at this one which I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Uh, at the top right we've given a bit of uh, detail about this one. Uh, the allegiance, the home system and then on the bottom we can see this sort of uh, list of stuff now the first option at the top you can see modify your module which means this is a list of the stuff below of all the things we can modify on this ship if we go to the right we can see all the recipes or modifications this engineer offers so you can actually go through and see uh, for this I'm just gonna modify one of my weapons so if we come down to beam weapons now on this page we're given an option of which one we want to modify so here we can see that uh, we've got a class 4 and it's been modified already uh, with a light beam mount uh, and then another beam weapon that hasn't been modified so like it's, if you was wondering you can mod keep remodifying weapons so if we select that one uh, we're given another page of some more details uh, at first this may be a bit confusing but I'll explain what it means so firstly on the left uh, we have this sort of list of recipes or modifications so we kinda wanna pick a type so say for this example we go for long range now you can see there's a kinda little bolt underneath uh, that gives you an idea of the strength of the modification uh, obviously the one is low uh, and it goes up to 5 so on this one there isn't a 5 only a 4 is the maximum but as you can see the maximum range bars change so if we go on to the last one which is the, say the grade 4 uh, on right we're given a bit more details uh, so we have primary effects of this modification or recipe uh, the first is being the obviously the range is being increased between 39% and 79% uh, and the next one is uh, the damage per second so we either get a 2% up to a 12% as you can see those are in blue which means that is going to improve something uh, however the next set that you can see I've got a little red bar uh, that means it's going to actually make the weapon worse in some respect so in this example you can see that it's going to increase the range and the damage per second However, as a side effect, we're going to get draw more power from our distributor, and it's going to be heavier, and it's going to take more power from our reactor. So on the right, we have uh, secondary effects. These are random effects that can improve or detract from the weapon. And then lastly, on the right, just underneath that, we've got the cost. Uh, in the beta, we're only just using fish, but in the final release that is going to be a lot more resources to actually have a go at trying to uh, see what we get so at the bottom we have two options we could either pin the blue pin so we can keep it for later and see what we need for uh, resources or we can preview it and see what we get so this goes to preview now we're given another page a bit more details of what will happen so again uh, on the left the primary effects it's going to explain what it's going to do as you can see the uh, first there's an orange little tab in the middle and that's the uh, middle ground and then we're given a blue 
bar which to say that's how much it's going to be improved by uh, at the moment it's just giving you an idea of roughly of what you could expect and then on the district draw and so you can see their negative effect uh, on the right you can see secondary effects uh, nothing there at the moment because we haven't actually tried it and then at the bottom then we've got a 75% of giving a special effect on this or a special modification that can change the gun quite a bit so like I said at the bottom we have our three little tabs so in this one we're going to just view uh, view cost and generate so basically that means um, we can actually start doing it so if we press it now we're given another list of just basically what we need and whether we're happy to do it so if we press generate so now we get our primary effects being randomized so let's see what we get uh, next we got our secondary effects and then finally our special which we didn't get this time uh, alright so to explain uh, can you they see there's little sort of um, lines with circles underneath and that is basically what we got so in this recipe we got uh, roughly a 56% increase to our maximum range our damage per second went up to by 3 which is not much uh, we're using more power off the distributor by 28% yeah, the mass is gone up and the power draw is more uh, for secondary effects we got some increased integrity uh, the mass we lost more of that and we got some armor piercing and we didn't get a special effect this time so uh, you don't have to apply that you can try it again so let's uh, see if we can get a better one this time so range isn't very good it's about the lowest you can get see what we get as secondary so we got a bit more damage per second not much distribute draw a bit of a drop so that's helpful power draw increase is not a good thing so we draw in more power integrity not very exciting you got a special this time thermal shock so now we've got an actual special effect on this so um, articulated focus array designed for spreading the heat effectively strikes to shields and hole impart additional heat into the target so as a beam weapon that's probably increased it quite significantly um, like again you could apply it and once you do that you basically get this effect however if you're not happy with it you can go and say oh, I'm going to change it and you could say oh, I'll change it for a short range blaster and let's try that one so once you do a modification uh, you can change it, it's not set in stone however you do lose that modification um, so we're looking like we've lost our maximum range by quite a bit but we've gained a significant damage per second increase other than that the other stats look pretty bad so that's uh, probably not very good um, we could discard it um, let's try a different one so if we try this I don't know if we need sturdy map um, let's go back to long range because that should be a quite a good one Seven percent maximum range, which is a bit low. Distribute draw fourteen up two bad. So generally, this rest one is not been too bad. Mass has been improved. Armor piercing. Distribute draw is not exactly great. Power draw is not much. And let's see what if we get a special. See, uh, the special when it goes round, if it lands on a blue thing, we get the special. If it lands on the red, obviously we don't get it. So we could try once more. See what we get. 
25% increase. Not too bad apart from the uh, dispute draw. Damage per second increase, that's always good. Uh, dispute draw, oh, that's not good. It's even worse. Integrity, mass. Right off the scale. <laughs> Gonna get a special. Regeneration sequence. Friend or foe, uh, beam moderation upgrade. When the beam strikes a wingman shield, energy is regulated, regenerating the shields instead of damaging it. So, in player versus player, this could be quite beneficial for a wing. Um, I'm probably not gonna use this one myself, so let's discard it. Uh, right, so that's the modification on weapons as such as beams. You don't get special modifiers on power plants, engines and all that lot. You only seem to get them on weapons at the moment or missiles. Um, so on this one we've got our frame shift drive so we can increase the uh, boot up speed which may be a bit useful but it's not that exciting. I probably prefer going for the increased range. That's to me one of the more useful ones. So you can see here we got a chance of making the uh, mass just slightly better. The integrity we could get a quite a big improvement. Uh, the power draw we're going to get a not is going to be a downside, and the optimal mass we could get a slight improvement, but not much. Um, so I probably will stay with what we've got. But this gives you an idea of what you can modify. So if I go through some of the things, that's the frame shift drive, uh, the power distributor. So we can um, increase the capacity up to grade 5 um, we can improve the charge I think it's charge speed generally so that's all three uh, weapons engines and systems uh, we can concentrate on a specific system like the engines uh, system or weapon uh, we can give it a shield so it's more protected uh, armor we can do stuff to that so we can uh, make it a bit stronger we can give it a uh, resistance to certain um, things like bl well, blast is explosive uh, we can give extra hull I think um, kinetic resistance thermal resistance uh, engines we can improve the speed of them so we can improve the sort of turn speed, um, we can make them stronger, um, right, that's that. Power plants, we can give it some more protection so it don't get destroyed so easily. We can get it to generate more power um, at the cost of being heat, not so heat efficient. Uh, we can get the heat efficiency better but less power um, beam weapons I showed you some of that but we can just go over it quickly we got we can make it lighter we can increase the range we can shorten the range but increase the damage uh, we can increase the integrity uh, multi cannons you're going to get the same sort of thing but with efficiency because uh, it's a ammo based weapon uh, shield generators, we can add more resistance to kinetic, um, decrease the amount of strength, I think, but increase the um, regeneration, I think, that one, I'm not sure. Uh, increase the shield size, but decreases the regen. Um, increase resistances to thermal. Uh, and then shield boosters, we can give more resistances, um, basically resistances to other damage types. Um, could have a look on browse plasma accelerators in cover. So we go up to class four. So again, we've got efficiency focused. So what's focused do? increase the range which is not a bad thing uh, over, make it more powerful, make it faster firing um, 
and change missiles, which we haven't got any recipes here for. Um, cannons, we've got two there. So again, uh, efficiency, capacity, range, overcharged. Um, rail guns. So again, capacity, uh, light, weight, long range, short range, sturdy. Uh, pulse lasers, go to class four. Um, efficiency, focused, lightweight, uh, mines. So capacity, uh, fire rate, uh, weight, uh, strength or integrity, beam already showed, power plant so torpedoes, torpedoes, uh, again the same sort of options, lightweight, uh, sturdy, so engines, hull reinforcements, uh, let's have a look at that one. Light rate reinforcement, so we can increase the hull resistances, um, heavy duty, kinetic resistance, thermal resistance, fragment cannons, uh, double shot, so I think that, yeah, it bursts high, so you double shoot an extra one. Uh, efficiency, thermal loading improvements, damage, high capacity, uh, light, weight, overcharge, so it does more damage, um, sturdy, power distributor, frame shift drive, burst lasers, again efficiency, light, weight, um, long range, overcharged. So yeah, there's a lot of recipes there, and we can modify a lot of systems. Like I said, you won't find specials on uh, other systems, and that just generally on weapons. But it should give you an idea of the amount of stuff you can modify. Um, it can be quite a lot. Um, so anyway, guys, that is kind of <clears throat> a look at the engineers and what they do. They can modify your equipment uh, by quite a lot, and depending on what type of thing you want to modify, you can sort of like make uh, make a beam weapon so it does longer, uh, gets good further, or does more close range, or doesn't overheat so quickly, or. But yeah, it gives you quite a lot of options and what to do. I know I went through that this quite a lot, but because there's quite a lot of stuff to go through, uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what it kind of you could actually expect to modify. Anyway guys, that's the engineers. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, that always helps me. Uh, take care and have fun guys.